hello and welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to use a handy tool called mail merge it can be used to send personalized email to your friends clients or colleagues before diving into mail merge you need a list of people you want to email this is our starting point from our previous video we have a list of students that we can use for mail merge i've added the email column to this list make sure you label your column headers clearly as they will be used in the future once you are done editing your list, save it somewhere you can easily find it, like on your desktop. Now that our list is ready, let's head over to Microsoft Word where the magic happens. I've already composed my email with a greeting for the student, a table with the results, and a signature of the head teacher at the bottom. You can pause this video and set up your own email message and then get back. The next step is to go to the Mailings tab and start the Mail Merge Wizard by clicking Start Mail Merge and selecting the Start Mail Merge Wizard. The Mail Merge Wizard has been designed to make life easy. So don't worry if you are new to this. It's pretty straightforward to use. The first thing we need to do is select our type of document, which is email messages in our example. Although you can have letters, envelopes, labels, and the likes, but we're going to use email messages in this example. So select email messages and click next. We're going to use our existing Word document as the email, so click next as the default. Next, we are going to connect our Excel saved Excel file with our Word document. So click on the Browse button. To select our saved Excel file, save, browse to where you saved it on your desktop and select it to link it to your document. This will import the recipients into our Word document. Click open. We have only one sheet, sheet one in our workbook. So it's selected. If you have multiple sheets, select the sheet that contains your list. And then make sure you leave the first row of data contains column headers checked. And then click OK to import our recipients. The merge recipient list gives us an opportunity to trim our list by checking or unchecking recipients. Once we are done, we click OK. And then click the next button to proceed. Now the fun part, customizing the email message. We are going to insert fields from our Excel list to personalize the message. We can insert the student's full name as a field, which we have in our Excel list, and also the scores for each test. So insert the score for math, for English, for history, and then arts and culture and then we can also insert the overall status of pass or fail rules are also a great way to customize our message further we can congratulate or commiserate with students based on the value of the pass or fail field but let's keep it simple click on next to preview your results where you can use the control buttons to scan through your email messages for each recipient once you are satisfied with the preview, click the Complete Merge button and click Electronic Mail to send our email. Here you will set up the final details. Choose your recipient field, which will be the email address column from your Excel sheet. Type in a subject line and hit OK. Word will automatically send each email personalized for each student. That's it. Your recipient will receive a regular email. Let's open Outlook to see what happened. As you can see, all the emails are in my outbox because I'm offline. And they've been sent through the default Outlook client on my computer, which in my case is uh, Outlook. Let's open an email to see what it looks like. This is what the email looks like. And that's it, a quick and easy way to send personalized email to a large group. Mail merge saves you time and avoid repetitive work. If you like this video, 
please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for future videos. Thank you, and see you in the next one.